Hey folks, thanks for tuning in for another video today. So, thought I'd get out today and uh, hang out down here at my little camp area uh, for a little while. It's a beautiful day outside. So, anyway, brought my dog down here. He's chewing on a bone over here. But, uh, so I got a new MRE. Uh, like I said in a previous video, I've been trying to um, check out some new foreign MREs and stuff like that because I've never eaten any foreign MREs. So I got a new one that I picked up from eBay and this is a Lithuanian MRE. Never had Lithuanian food either, so um, stay tuned. My name is Chris. You watch Skills to Survive. We'll be right back. All right, let's take a look at this MRA. So again, it's Lithuanian, and this is menu number nine. And I do not speak Lithuanian, so I have no idea uh, what that says. Uh, it's not a pillable top, it does not look like. Um, there's a tear notch here. So let's just, well, we'll just tear it open and see what we got. It's a surprise for all of us. Unless you've had this menu before. All right, so looks like we have an accessory packet here of some sort. Uh, well, maybe not. This is like a snack packet, so Looks like we have some some fruit jam of some sort probably some chocolate because it does say chocolate there so a little chocolate bar and some other items in there we'll take a look at that here in just a second oh here's our accessory packet here it looks like you got some esbit again uh, same as the french we got a uh, citrus drink got a spoon got a little zip tie all right do we have some uh, crackers or biscuits Um, almonds. Uh, I guess everybody could read that if you speak English. Almonds. And we have the main entree right here. We'll open up here in just a moment. And then we have a tray for food heating. So cool. So let's uh, let me reorgan reorganize some of this stuff and we'll see uh, what all we got here. All right, I got everything out of the <clears throat> package here. So the little accessory pack that I thought was a little accessory pack actually like a little uh, snack pack type thing so <clears throat> I still am not quite sure what this is maybe some fruit we'll open it up here in just a second it does have some chicken broth packet you have some sugar and you have a cherry uh, drink mix which we'll mix up here in just a minute and then a little chocolate bar and in the other the actual accessory packet that had the spoon and the esbit and the matches in it I said this was a I said this was a citrus drink. This is not a citrus drink. It's actually a refreshing towelette so you can wipe up after yourself. So shows you how much I do know or do not know. The almonds, the main, the biscuits. So the main is actually stewed pork with pearl barley mash. Never had that before. And it does come with an FRH, flameless ration heater. And inside of the little tray here, there is actually a, like a little Esbit stove for the Esbit tabs because I was looking for the stove and it's actually inside of here. So we'll take it out in just a minute. So let's uh, mix up some drink and get the main started. The cherry drink calls for 600 ml of water and in my, inside my canteen cup there, you see I have graduation. So that's 600 ml. So put this in here. Give that a stir. All right, now let's heat up this FRH and this main. So the FRH actually has um, English instructions on it as well, but it's typical or the same generally as um, most of your American type MREs that you'll see or FRHs and some of the other ones. Yeah. So you just tear it here at the notch. Take our food, and I've already kind of give this a little knead. We'll set it inside of here. Sorry about that. Put that 
one in there and then it says add 45 mls of water so grab my canteen here and it does have a fill line uh, right down here so see if i can do this without spilling water everywhere yeah it doesn't take much water at all for these and then Fold it over the bag, gently shake, and place on the surface. So, so we'll shake it, and we'll set it down to uh, let it heat up. This thing is amazing. I don't know how well you can see that. It's actually kind of burning my finger. It is. It didn't take but like 10 seconds, and this thing started. I and mean, this is one of the best FRHs I've, I've ever used. So i got to set this down. It's burning my finger. But I just wanted to show that. While my meal is heating up, it takes about 10 minutes or so. Um, the cherry drink here is basically like cherry Kool-Aid. Tastes just like cherry Kool-Aid. Cherry Kool-Aid is my favorite Kool-Aid. I, I love it. Um, it does come unsweetened, so you could use the sugar that it came with um, to put in there. I didn't do that this time. I mean, you can, but I didn't. So um, let's try out. Let's set this over here out of the way. Let's try out the biscuits and see what this is here. Okay, so some, yeah, that's what I thought, some type of jam. Let's see. It smells like, maybe like a grape, a grape jam. So let's open up one of the biscuits here. My dog loves these, by the way. Let's try a biscuit. Good Lord. That's got to be the hardest biscuit I've ever tasted or ever tried to chew. But it has some good teeth. Put on some jam here. That's very good. Great great flavor jam. That's very very tasty. So I'm gonna enjoy this while my main continues to heat up. I'll be back in just a minute. That jelly was like a blackberry grape jelly. So again, it was very tasty. So I'm sitting here and it just shows, goes to show you how I guess naive or new I am to this, that I didn't even know this. I thought this was actually a tray right here, but it says a tray for food heating. Well, I said before the actual Esbit, the little, the little Esbit stove is right here. This is the actual tray. This is your little Esbit um, stove and it tells you how to fold it down. So. Again, I'm just new to this. I, <laughs> I did not know that. Um, the only thing that I'm curious about is, you know, I guess if you had some, you know, if you had your canteen cup, stuff like that, you could, you know, put your chicken broth in your canteen cup and heat that up. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to actually save that and save these little esbits and um, save them for a, a quick little snack or something on the trail later on. But um, let's crack open these almonds here. See how they are. Okay. They look a little dried out, but not too bad. Um, these, this is actually a, a fairly fresh ration. I think the expiration is 11, 20 of 21. So almonds are very good. They taste very good. They look, they just look a little dry, but they're very good. So the main is almost done. Thought I'd mention also, here's the contents packet, or a little contents, tells you what all is in here. So, sugar, bouillon, obviously. So, tells you what's in there. I'll be right back. All right, it's been about 12 minutes or so, and uh, this thing is still actually pretty, pretty warm, almost still hot to the touch. So let's get out our main here. Yeah, it's it's pretty warm, pretty warm. Um, I tell you what, I like to do with my mains like this. Instead of opening them 
this way. There's a tear notch this way. I like to turn mine this way and open them across here um, if I'm going to eat them out of the package. That way, um, it's just easier to eat that way. So, let me get out my knife here. And just cut this open across the package here. It just makes it easier because I don't have one of those fancy trays like uh, some of these guys have. All right, so there it is. There's the main. Um, I can smell it from here. It smells really good. It says it's pork and barley. Looks like you got some vegetables in there, some seasonings. Let's take a little smell here. Smells really good. You can kind of tell there. Take a little taste. That's very good. It's almost like pork and rice, but it's, you know the barley is um, got really good texture to it. I don't know really how much to explain it. Um, got some good flavor. Really good flavor. Get some spice in there. Not not a whole lot of spice, but very good. Well, let's finish this one off. I'll be right back. All right. Well, the main was really good. Next, our last thing on the menu is the chocolate. So let's uh, open this chocolate up. It has a there's the expiration date on it. So it's still within well within its good mm. so you got two little chocolate bars in here show you there take a little piece off here look very good It's a milk chocolate. It tastes just like Hershey's here in the States. So, very good. The only thing I wish this would have was, I wish it had some coffee. It'd be great to put dip this in your coffee or something. It'd be really good. Be right back. Well, folks, there you have it. Another uh, MRE review for you. The Lithuanian menu number nine. Very good overall. I definitely would have it again. Uh, the only thing is, is these biscuits or these crackers. My God. Um, I was reading on here, they're imported or made in Poland. These are the hardest things I have ever eaten in my life. I almost broke a tooth. I literally did. And it's funny because I broke off a, a piece, like half of this, and I gave it to my dog and it took my dog a minute to eat it. That's how hard these damn things are so <laughs> bear in mind i mean they were good and i only ate the i only ate two of them but lord they're hard uh even if um you could probably i guess mix it with your main your main or something like that grind it up but I, then I, I don't even know then but everything else was you know excellent you know the crackers weren't that bad but everything else was definitely excellent um excellent meal i got these off of ebay um, you can find these stuff off eBay. You can find them off. There's various MRE um, <clears throat> shops here on, in the U.S. online that you can find some of this stuff from as well. But, um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in for this video, folks. Um, I'm going to finish chilling out here today and, uh, you know, go back in a little bit. So thanks again for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Have you ever tried uh, a Lithuanian MRE or any of the foreign MREs? Uh, if you have, uh, leave a link down or leave a comment down below and let me know uh, what you think about it um, or some of the ones that you've tried that you like or, or don't like. And um, I'll try to pick them up because like I said, I'm really trying to get into this sort of thing. I think us as Westerners, we tend to look down on other people's um, food and stuff like that. And I, and I don't think we should do that. I think, and that that's, a big problem with society today, I think, is we, we, we look down on other cultures and stuff like that as their food. 
And then here in the past few years, I've really gotten to where I, I like to branch out and, and try different things. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, it's very good, uh, which, is, which is good. So again, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, I've rambled on enough. Please like, share, and subscribe. Get outside, get outdoors. Always make sure you have necessary skills to survive. And I'll see you on another video really soon.